Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. If you're new, I'm Nyx with Chromates Apothecary and today I'm going to be offering you a tarot pick a card reading that will be timeless and also is going to have a focus based on your ancestors and what it is that they are currently guiding you through or what advice they have for you. So what I want you to do is I want you to take a few moments to pause and reflect on these three different groups that I have laid out before you. And then when you're ready, I want you to go to the description box down below and then just click on the timestamp that corresponds along with your group. So starting on the far left, we have the Ethereal Illuminated Tarot deck along with this Tiger's Eye Crystal. In the center, we have the Wild Unknown Tarot deck, along with this Dragonstone Crystal. And then on the far right, we have the Rider Waite Tarot deck, along with this Lapis Lazuli Crystal. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more Tarot Pick a Card readings in the future. And now, without further ado, let's get on to your reading. Hi, group number one. If you chose the Ethereal Illuminated Tarot deck along with this Tiger's Eye Crystal, then this is going to be your reading for today in what it is that your ancestors have to share with you for advice or guidance. And this Tiger's Eye here is helpful when it comes to things like confidence, protection, as well as your willpower. And it can also help promote positive attitude and assist in accomplishing goals. So if you have had some goals in your life that you've been wanting to finally have come to fruition, it's here to let you know that you do have that ability and it's also here to help bring about good luck and success, which is a beautiful message for us to start our reading out with. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle this deck and pull out a few cards to get us started. The first card that I have is the Seven of Cups, as well as the Five of Wands. And also Strength. So what I'm currently seeing in these cards here is that there is something that you are trying to accomplish and it's just one of those things where it's kind of been a little bit of a struggle for you and it's kind of wearing you down a little bit. I'm seeing that there are opportunities here for you and there's a lot of choices that you could be making. So you're trying to figure out like, what's the best path that I can follow that's going to be right for me, that's going to bring the right amount of stability and also being able to feel positive and accomplished in yourself because we don't want to go down a path where it feels like all we're doing is working nonstop. And then along with that card, we also have the Five of Wands. And this card is where I was getting that it feels like it's kind of hard for you to be able to accomplish this card here, being able to make that right choice because there's a lot of comp competition and there's also a lot of like conflict that's going on. So it could be that people around you are making you feel lesser than because they are trying to either also go for the same thing that you're going for or it could be that they are just outright disagreeing with your way of life and what it is that you're trying to build for yourself. However, I'm seeing along with the strength card, I'm taking this card as your ancestor, is that in strength you have someone and something that inside that's inside of you that's just giving you all of this energy and all of this power to finally be able to break through and realize your goals so in the strength card we have this sense of confidence this sense of like having the guts in order to 
go forward. So like having the courage, having um, influence in your life to be able to give yourself a positive outcome. So I'm seeing from your ancestor that they're going to be guiding you through these disagreements, through this conflict, perhaps with current family or even friends around you, or even your peers who are trying to take like opportunities away from you. And you're going to be able to make that right decision for yourself. I'm going to go ahead and pull a few more cards just to get a couple more clarifications. So in the Ten of Wands, I'm seeing that it is definitely weighing on you. There is a burden that is coming from having to make this decision and it's one that you're taking very, very seriously. Ooh, the card just fell on the floor, so I'm gonna grab this. Four of Swords. So yeah, I'm seeing that in the Ten of Wands that you are, you're definitely struggling along with it and you know that it'll be good for you in the future, but it's definitely a struggle as of right now. I also got the Emperor. Okay. So in the Four of Swords, what I'm seeing is that there is this time for rest and this time for you to recuperate and also perhaps change the way that you are going about this accomplishment. Um, you, I'm, I'm getting this feeling that you have to think in a way that you originally didn't think would work for you. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I'm getting this feeling like you're taking this safe path and it's kind of calling you to change it up a little bit and go a way that you just normally wouldn't. That's the vibe that I'm getting. Um, also, along with that, with the Emperor, it could be that your ancestor that's coming through is male and that he was very much like the man of the house. So like he knew what it was that needed to be done and he had his own way, his own influences and his own power in order to get things done. He had the strength and confidence to be able to push him to new heights. And it feels like he's trying to give that same sort of confidence and drive to you because he knows that you're struggling with things that are just I'm getting this feeling of like your energy is being pulled away from you because you're too worried about what other people think about you and you're really struggling with trying to connect with your intuition and to be able to give yourself a chance to relax and make decisions that could be a little risky but they will make you stand out more. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting with these cards. So if you liked this reading or it resonated with you, feel free to leave a like, comment, and follow for more Tarot Pick a Card readings in the future. And also, if you got this far in the reading, go ahead and leave a lion emoji down in the comments box so you can let me and others know that you did reach the end of your reading. And hopefully you were able to glean a little bit of advice from your ancestor and that you do feel their presence and also be able to push forward in accomplishing your goals. Thank you guys so much and have a great day. Hi, group number two. If you chose the Wild Unknown Tarot deck along with this Dragonstone Crystal, then this is going to be your reading for your ancestors coming through and giving you advice or guiding you during this time in your life. And along with your ancestors is this Dragonstone, which it represents um, keeping balance and also working through health issues, especially when 
And it's great to have this when it comes at a time of you recovering from illness. And it can also help you break bad habits as well as patterns in your life that could be distracting you from goodness and um, good health, good fortune and things like that. So I set that here for us today. And what I want to do is pull a few cards for you. So for group two, their ancestors coming through. What messages can you glean? The two of swords in the reverse position. Page of Cups, sorry, the Knight of Cups. As well as the Queen of Pentacles in the reversed position. I set the deck down. So what I'm getting from this is that you are currently going through this indecision phase. You're having a hard time in making clear decisions for yourself. Um, it could be that you are stuck because you just have too much information coming at you at the same time. And it's kind of causing you to overload and overwork yourself especially mentally your like brain is kind of frazzled right now is the feeling that i'm getting i'm kind of having a hard time speaking out my words so it kind of is giving me that same feeling like you you're having a hard time expressing yourself and being able to speak up it's also a time of you coming at a stalemate so you are just like you were faced with some sort of opposition and you're not able to work through it because uh, again mentally you're just like really taken out <laughs> at the time and in the knight of cups what i'm seeing here is that this card is about very beautiful things very romantic and creative things so it could be that your ancestor is asking you to tap into that part of your life. So tap into whatever it is that you find beautiful. It's different for everyone. So it could be to you something as simple as walking outside and observing nature to you is, is beautiful. Some people it's art, being able to view or create art. For others it's really having a great conversation with a person and seeing the beauty in that person. So whatever you find to be beautiful, feel free to surround yourself with more of that. Don't think that you, don't feel like you need to be like it's a guilty pleasure kind of thing. Take it as it is that you need this to better yourself. It's also about tapping into your imagination and really allowing yourself to have this whimsy and flow come back into your life. Because I feel like you have been sort of stuck and your ancestors trying to pull more of this like loving, beauty, grace energy. And why I'm feeling that so strongly is that I believe your ancestor is represented by the Queen of Pentacles. I'm getting this feeling that it could be a female um, ancestor who's coming through and really wanting to kind of protect you, um, feeling very like motherly. And what I'm getting from this card, with it being reversed, I'm getting that it could be that maybe your ancestor was either a single parent or was separated from their partner. Um, so it could be like a divided household or something like that, where it felt like she was taking on double roles, even if their partner was still alive, it could feel like maybe such as like a divorce that you would be spending time with the one parent that she's trying to do her best in guiding you. And it could be either, um, I'm getting that feeling of her being kind of like a boss babe <laughs> and putting a lot of time into work and maybe it felt like she wasn't able to put a lot of time into you 
or whoever it was that was in her family. So it could obviously be far further back than just like your immediate parent. Um, so we're going to keep it going. I'm going to pull a few clarifying cards as well. First off, we have Father of Cubs. So it could be also a male is coming through. With the Eight of Swords in reverse. And lastly, we have the Chariot. So this feeling that I'm getting with the King of Cups, especially in reverse, is that it could be that you are feeling this sort of level of moodiness it could be that you're feeling like you are not gaslighting yourself that's way too strong but like you are really not giving yourself the chance to live through your emotions i'm feeling this stop like especially with this card here it, it being a stalemate i'm feeling the stopping point of you're not letting yourself be fully real with even just you and that's making it hard for you to be able to tap into this inner beauty to be able to make decisions and and move forward and i'm also seeing in the eight of swords in reverse now with this card here it comes along when you are definitely holding things in on yourself. So you're either seeing yourself from this like victim mentality point of view, or you're having this chance to, you're either stopping yourself and not believing in yourself, or you're giving yourself a chance to finally release these negative thoughts. And I'm thinking because it's, in front of this card here um i'm getting the feeling that if you can tap into whatever beauty it is that's around you you're gonna be able to finally release all of this negativity about yourself i'm getting a lot of self-hate i'm getting a lot of like feelings like talking down so it's like in my head i'm getting this feelings of like you're not good enough like you're worthless things like that so all those negative like words and stuff that just are not helping you and i'm seeing in the chariot that you are going to be able to push forward with it especially tied to this this like female ancestor um with it being the clarifying card for it um in the chariot it is about movement especially fast-paced movement and it's also about having strength and determination so i'm seeing it as you're going to be able to tap into your inner feelings and be able to kind of boss yourself up to where you can push forward and break away from all of this negativity. So what I'm thinking too is initially I had said when I pulled the King of Cups reverse that it could be also a male ancestor that's coming through, but I'm really leaning on this female ancestor because especially seeing the cards as they are here, all of these cards here have this more warm tone to them, this like fiery tone to them, whereas the female card here is filling up this cup here. And that's definitely the advice that I'm getting is that you do need to be able to allow yourself to just release this negative energy that I'm feeling up. Like I'm feeling this like my heart pounding as if it's like buildup of anxiety and like it could be that you're going through depression or mental health stuff and you really need to surround yourself with people who better you and don't let people in who are negative and who are going to talk down to you because i think you really you're pretty fragile right now and you actually do need support and you do need love more than you need people's negativity because you're already giving yourself plenty of that and we don't want you to be doing that anymore so if you liked this reading or it resonated with you, feel free to leave a like, comment, and follow for more tarot pick card readings in the future. And what I want you to do is I want you to put a little butterfly emoji down in the comment box below to let me and others know that you made it to the end of your reading. 
I hope that you're able to glean some positive advice from this reading and hopefully you can feel your ancestor near you and actually protecting you through this time in your life. Thank you guys so much and have a great day. Hi, group number three. If you chose the Rider Waite tarot deck along with this lapis lazuli, then this is going to be your reading that is going to help us tap into your ancestors and what advice or guidance they have for you. Along with your ancestors, we do have this lapis lazuli where it encourages clear and truthful expression. So being able to share your thoughts and feelings with other people, along with protecting against a psychic attack. And it also enhances dream work and your spiritual journey. So very much being able to help you tap into your dreams and your subconscious if you've been getting certain symbols from that. And then it also helps to ease communication specifically based on anger. So if you or someone around you has been very testy recently, this is here to help protect you through those conversations and help you or others keep a clear head when having these discussions. So I'm going to set this one here so we can see it during your reading. I'm going to get started by pulling just a few cards for you. And then we'll pull some clarifiers along with the main cards in a moment. Ancestors, what guidance do you have for group number three? We have the Ten of Wands coming out first and foremost. We've got the Page of Wands, as well as the Wheel of Fortune. All right. So what I'm getting is it feels as if you are kind of overworking yourself. <laughs> um, so on this card, you can see that he is struggling with holding up all of these wands. It kind of is giving the feeling like you are going this route alone. Um, you could have chopped it down into smaller little goals, but you want to do it all at once. So that's where we get this extra responsibility and all of this hard work. But it's also a card of completion. So you are going down this route where you are working very hard, but whatever it is that you're working on, you're going to complete it. And I'm also seeing with the Page of Wands that it could be that... In here, it could be that your ancestors coming through as this page of wands where they're trying to help guide you through this journey. Because as you can see, the page of wands starts out with this one wand and looks very confident and is about to go onto this new journey that is filled with like inspiration, full of brand new ideas, has very much this free spirit. And then by the end of it, you are struggling with all of these wands. So it could be that they're trying to help you through this journey and make it an easier transition. So I'm getting this feeling of if you were to learn kind of the tricks of their trade, that you'd be able to have a far more um, enlightening and positive journey that you're currently going on. It can be changed to something a bit more positive. It also deals with having limitless potential as well. So it could be that because you are focusing so hard on all of these wands and not trying to spill any of them, any of these ideas or opportunities or work or whatever it is that's going on, it could be that they're kind of clouding your judgment and you should be able to view things with a much more free spirit and positive outcomes, but you can't just because you are so clouded and bogged down right now. And then along with those cards, we have the Wheel of Fortune. And this card is all about um, like karma. It's about destiny. And it's generally about, especially upright, good luck and also a turning point. So it could be that there's something going on that if you were to tap into it and have this sort of mindset, you can bring about a better outcome for yourself. You can have this rebirth and be able to push forward with this renewed and 
clear sense versus this clouded sense that we're currently feeling. So I'm going to go ahead and pull a few more cards. Yeah, and then it feels like you're definitely struggling because you feel like you have to like battle just so yeah you feel like <laughs> you feel like there's some sense of like injustice because you've been having to fight for so long and for so hard on something yeah so what i'm seeing here in the seven of wands is that you really are trying to preserve this for yourself so like whatever it is that you've accomplished in your life you're really trying to hold on tight to it um it could be that there's some sort of threat of taking something away from you whether it's your independence or like maybe financial risk or something but i'm getting the feeling like it's something that you're trying to claim as your own because you've put so much time and energy into it and you're having competition come at it from different angles and you definitely feel wronged because of it. It feels like um, that there's just either like, I don't know why I'm getting the feeling of like someone didn't credit you for your work or something. I don't know why I'm getting that feeling. It really feels like you have been done dirty. <laughs> It's kind of what I'm getting. And it's making it hard for you to want to keep pursuing your goal. And I believe your ancestor is here to let you know that you are going to be able to eventually, like this is a turning point, you're going to be able to, especially with him like looking at the Wheel of Fortune, he's kind of leaving behind all of these things and looking off into the future over here is what it looks like to me. And so I am getting this feeling like something's going to change so someone's gonna realize that you put in way more work than you were credited for or that like you've been working so hard that someone's gonna notice you finally like you've been you've been waiting for that opportunity for someone to notice you and they're finally gonna actually notice you and lastly here we have with the four of pentacles in reversed this card here could be Again, it's like about self-protection. It's a card about like greed almost in like a materialistic sense where like you can see that he's like clutching onto all of like his pentacles and like being really overly protective of them. So yeah, I think there's something like precious to you that this sounds so weird. <laughs> I think there's something very precious to you that you're working on and you've been putting in so much time and energy and either people just aren't seeing it or like someone tried to take it away from you. And it's really done a number on your self-confidence and it's really made it hard for you to want to pursue it again. But I am seeing here that in the Wheel of Fortune, it's going to turn back around and it's going to come back to you in a way that is positive and that is going to give you that recognition. I don't know how much else I can say that. It just keeps, again, the lapis lazuli really came through. I, that feeling of navigating angry conversations and, and dealing with sharing your information and making sure that people know that it's yours. I think be very clear if you're working on a project with people, make sure you know you're getting credited. Like if you are an artist and you got commissioned, make sure that like it is being tracked back to your your name and your work because it's something that you put a lot of time and energy into and you want to be able to have those benefits of people knowing who it was that created that artwork. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting with this reading. And I think your ancestor is definitely here protecting you and here trying to guide you on this path of maybe you need to do it in a different way. So I'm getting that feeling of you've been trying the same way over and over and over again. And I think you need to go on a new journey. And it's one that might be daunting 
because it's not one that you know. But if you throw away all these past regrets and all these fights that are going on and you are able to look forward into the future with this clear mindset, you can accomplish anything. I'm also getting this feeling of like, they're very proud of you. I don't know who it is, but like, I'm getting this like swell of like, like feeling like, yes, you can do this. Like, I'm here to help you. Like, I know you can do this. So I really think that there are good things in your future and you just need to release your past and push forward into the future. So if you liked this reading or it resonated with you, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more tarot pick a card readings in the future. And also what I'd like you to do is in the comment box down below, I'd like you to leave a bird emoji that's showing that you're going to be flying off into this new future and you're trying to change this wheel of fortune into a positive one to let myself and others know that you reached the end of your reading. Thank you guys so much and have a great day.